Hi, I'm John Barnes. I'm here with Play Ojo, the home of fair online gaming. I've been known throughout my career for my sense of fair play, so I'm here today to talk about fairness in football. The perception of every team needing a hard man in the side was the perception in the 70s and 80s. You don't need a hard man in the side because he's going to get sent off. Because in the old days, teams like Wimbledon and Watford, my first team, could compete because we could be overly physical. But the laws have changed to take that away. That, that, that advantage of having a hard man helping you will take it away because he's going to get sent off. In modern football, there's much more um, correct practice, if you like, in terms of fair play. Because, of course, when I talk about I playing in the mid-80s and you go back to the 70s when you talk about fair play where people were trying to break people's legs and doing all kinds of things. Um, it, is, it is much better now in terms of what the youngsters are being taught. VAR is a machine that shows a human being uh, an incident and it's 100% clear in the machine's mind. However, it depends on the interpretation of the human being. So when he says it being implemented fairly, it's more to do with the interpretation of, of humans and it'll still, humans will still interpret it in different ways. So that's not VAR's fault, that's just the way human beings are. I think it's fair he um, didn't receive any retrospective punishment. He should have been sent off. But retrospectively, obviously looking at a situation like that because he didn't mean to do that at all. He got injured, but it's an accident. But I don't think, you know, having played football and any footballer who's played will look at that and say, yes, it was a bad tackle, missed time tackle, should have been a red card at the time. But did he, have, did he intend to hurt him? No, he didn't. If that's the case, every time a player gets injured and players will get injured all the time, you can go back and, and, and ban people for injuring players when they don't mean to. I don't look at it from a position of fairness. I look at it from a position of, do they have a responsibility? Um, and that's what I think. Obviously, other people can look at it and they can say, it's about us. We're the ones who people are interested in. They're interested in our players. They're interested in our clubs. So therefore, why should we then help Crew Alexandra, for example? Because, you know, we don't have a responsibility to that. There is a, there's a lot of money around um, and there's enough money around for all the professional leagues to survive. But I think we can get the balance right. And I don't think we have at the moment. It was absolutely right that they couldn't celebrate with the team in the stadium because coronavirus and COVID-19 and deaths and life is much more important than football. So it was 100% right that that didn't happen. You know, you don't, you can celebrate and people did celebrate. Um, as we saw, you can celebrate at home, you can celebrate by yourself. Yes, it would have been great if you could celebrate together, but it is what it is, so we have to get on with it. So I have not got an issue with that at all.